I don't think that Mr. X will appreciate us following him, so let's take a little look around. Whoa! Take it easy, it's me. I can see that. You get grumpy when your asses run ragged, don't you? What are you doing here? Are you kidding? After that phone message, I wouldn't have missed this for the world. Yeah, well, you better be careful or he may run your ass ragged. I wouldn't mind that. It was kind of cute. Cute. Precious springs to mind. So, we kind of have a lot to talk about, don't we? Yeah, I guess we do. But first, Jane Doe and Goldbar. Yeah, there's a fair few things that they need to talk about, but she seems to have calmed down. I wouldn't exactly call Mr. X cute. And I would have thought that he would have been a bit more careful about his comings and goings, but never mind. Dr. Kravitz, you have a visitor in the main lobby. Hello. May I ask your business here? Even though we're not here as officially as such, we may as well be straight. We're looking for Dana Scully. And who might... Yeah, as you can see, there's some definite issues with this section of the game. I'm with you. May I see some identification? Yes. Uh, do you recall the name of her immediate superior? I need to phone him and I've misplaced his information. I believe this is more of a security question. Walter Skinner. This is her room behind. How was her... And healing. It was mostly superficial. As to her other condition, I have no idea how to account for it. Is she ready to leave? Oh, I wouldn't think so. Moving wouldn't be life-threatening, but she might not find it very pleasant. Has anyone else come to see? Oh, no. Thank God you're the first. How did she get here? She was brought in. By whom? This is what used to be called a sanitarium, Detective. We're not bound by the same strictures as a conventional hospital, nor would we follow them. We pride ourselves on discretion for the patients, the better they can heal. What other? I haven't been able to diagnose it yet, so I've been treating the symptoms. Lethargy, nausea, extreme listlessness, dehydration, memory loss. Yeah, as you can see, there is some definite issues with this part of the game. I mean, we're on a new disc. Disc 5, I believe, out of 7. And it's, disc 5 started with the hangar, which wasn't too bad. But this next section I've had to restart a couple of times as... You can see things get cut, get cut off, so I'm not going to hang around too much. Are you Dana Scully? Who are you? Again, we may as well be direct with her. Assistant Director Skinner asked us to look for you. I didn't know I was lost. Who are you? Agent Wilmore. I know I can trust you. Who told you I was here? Black man. What black man? I don't know his name. Ridiculous. You better explain. He gave me this. All right. He told me I couldn't tell anyone about it. Let's talk. Yeah, if you weren't quick with that stiletto, it's a game over. So we finally tracked down Scully. We may as well talk to her. How do you feel? Very weak. But actually, I feel a lot better than I did when I first came in here. Do you have any idea where Mulder is? 
have no idea, but we need to find him. Could you have radiation poisoning? God, I hope not. But I suppose the symptoms do line up. What is this used for? You shouldn't show that quite so openly. I don't know what it's used for. Perhaps Mulder can tell you. Yeah, we were told not to show it so openly, but we've got it right out in front of Asta to Dorian. Where does the Terracon fit into all this? Well, one way or another, they were involved in smuggling. I think that's a given. I think that there was an accident at sea involving plutonium, and Mulder thinks that they were somehow killed by an EBE. EBE? Extraterrestrial biological entity. What did your autopsy on the crewman reveal? The crew had all been exposed to levels of radiation consistent with a large-scale nuclear blast. Now clearly that didn't happen, but Mulder took that as proof that a UFO had landed in the area and that an alien life form aboard the craft had irradiated the Terracon crew. I take it you don't subscribe to that theory? There is always an alternate explanation. What happened in the warehouse? Mulder and I observed some suspicious traffic in and out of the warehouse. We went in to investigate. We were attacked by a number of armed men. I was shot. There was an odd light. Mulder carried me out of the warehouse. I blacked out and I woke up here. We're almost done. I'm afraid that's all I have to offer. What can you two tell me? Well, there have been other burn victims. I hope that doesn't mean that plutonium is being transported. There's an unidentified man involved. We encountered him at the burn site and then later again at the hauling yard. We found a connection between the warehouse and the hauling yard. It's a trucking outfit in Charna, Gordon's Hauling. They've made numerous deliveries between the warehouse and a rural route that we haven't had a chance to investigate. Seems to me that we need to find the identity of the man from the hauling yard, and that you two need to pay a visit to the rural route address. What are you going to do? Well, the first thing I'm going to do is get in touch with Assistant Director Skinner, and then I'm going to check out of here. I can meet up with you two later at your field office, but I think that we have to hurry. Agent Mulder may be running out of time, and if the smugglers do have him held hostage, they have little incentive to keep him alive. Oh, dear. While we're here... Is this the man who shot you? No. I've never seen him before. Okay. Let's head to the rail yards then. Or well, the rural route 1121, I believe it is. PDA of yours was right. I'm impressed. Hey, I'm not afraid of technology. What is it that we're looking for again? Rear quarter panel from a 64 Dodge Dart. Something with the number 82434 on it, right? That's the idea. Looks like we got our work cut out for us. Mm. Well, we would do, but... I kind of know where we need to go. Not this way. I think that's I have gone too far. Oh, 
Oh. Hi. Oh, here we go. wasn't too bad. It must be, yes, this carriage just here. Whose theory do you believe? Mulders or Scully's? Scully's obviously a by-the-book agent. I think it's great to hear of a detective who's a creative thinker. I'm looking forward to meeting Agent Mulder. What could they use this place for? Are you kidding? I'm surprised their operation is this big. The thought of plutonium traveling all over the country via rail is pretty terrifying. Especially considering Amtrak's record. Yeah. This yard is deserted. These boxcars haven't been used in years. Yeah, it's not too far down, thankfully. This car's been burned. Well, obviously, this fire is recent. This looks like an operating room of some kind. It's quite strange that the whole of the inside is completely charred to a crisp, but the outside of the, of the car looks relatively intact. Hey! Hey! I ain't doing nothing. Nobody said that you did. We just want to talk to you. Is this your home? Home is where the heart is, near or far away. That was informative. See anything strange around here? Uh, just the two of you. And the birds, of course. He's a nut. What is this place used for? Well, Don, the Boy Scouts conduct covert operations out here. You seen any men in suits or uniforms running around? Oh, yeah, all the time. Really? Yeah, ask Jane. I'm besieged by sniveling toadies trying to cheat me out of my sugar fortune. There's been a fire in a boxcar back there. You know anything about that? Sure, Don. I saw the guys who said it. What did they look like? Bloodless yuppies in cheap suits. Two of them. They backed that car up here yesterday and set fire to it. In my own backyard. Can you believe that? Uh, I have some stuff, Don. Got it out of that burnt car. You may want it. What kind of stuff? What, from the boxcar? Yeah, the boxcar. You tell me, Don. What kind of stuff do I have? Hmm. Photographs. Photos? 
I'm not saying yes, I'm not saying no. You're in the neighborhood. Moving pictures. Yes and no. Videotape? Yes, sir. We have a winner. Videotape it is. Congratulations. That was fun. I really enjoyed that. Thank you. Uh, ten bucks. Pleasure doing business with you. Thanks. Oh, Wilmore. Well, we are done in this section. Oh. I don't want that. Oh, okay. I was trying to look more closely at this, but obviously I can't. You have mail. Okay, right. Let's head back to the field office as I don't believe that Wilmore has a VCR player in his apartment. I'm guessing that this is the VCR, is it? Is it? What's up? Mark Cook, Mary Asadorian, Mary Asadorian, Mark Cook. Nice to meet you. Okay, somebody's obviously cutting on something. What do these clandestine medical experiments have to do with Russian smugglers? Yeah, and if this guy's a surgeon, what was he looking for at Gordon's Halling? And what was that experiment being performed? I don't know. Whatever it was, the patient didn't look human. Is there any way to ID the good doctor there? Yeah, all you gotta do is take a frame of the video and match it against the databases. It can definitely be done. Okay, so let's do it. Yeah, I'm guessing that it's going to be government military again. Oh, we actually have a match this time. There's a fair amount of deleted entries in here. Bingo. Okay, what do we have here? Dr. Jonathan Rausch. That's him, all right. Wow. The military, huh? Yeah, looks that way. What's that? Someone's trying to establish a video conferencing link. Oh, what the hell. Never really tried to use this thing before. Agent Wilmore? Yes. Ah. We're in the right place. Well, it's the lone gunman. Some more nice cameos in this game. How did you get this address? Well, we assumed you had the standard issue bureau box on your desktop. 
and all those are equipped for full duplex video conferencing, though nobody ever uses it. So we just looked you up in the Peekaboo white pages, which lists the DNS entry and IP address of every Peekaboo equipped machine in the country. Pretty straightforward, really. You want Janet Reno's number? Uh, no, I'll, I'll pass, thanks. Are you sure? She keeps the computer in the bedroom. Ooh. Who are you? Friends of Agent Scully. Some of us are more than just friends. She asked us to contact you. What do you want? Agent Scully contacted us with information about the case you're working on. Now, based on what Dana told us, we believe that there's a top secret facility in Alaska involved. Okay, what's the big deal about Alaska? Well, this facility is used as a nexus point for most of the government's West Coast boxcar work. If this is true, Mulder's in incredible danger. This facility was built in the early 60s. We think they chose Alaska so they can use the Aurora Borealis to hide UFO traffic into and out of the base. We also think an alien craft recovered in the Pacific is stored there. Wait, has Bias had a shave? He's not normally clean shaven. Anyway, enough distracting. What's boxcar work? Ah, one of the great unspoken peace dividends. The government has a massive network of rail cars, which they can use as mobile surgical theaters, autopsy rooms, and quarantine facilities. These boxcars have a twofold purpose. They allow the government to quickly pick up and transport stray EBEs, and they serve as a mobile base of operations for a series of genetic experiments. What kind of genetic experiments? The cross-pollinization of the human race, intermingling human DNA with genetic material from EBEs. Great, I don't believe this. Suddenly I'm Barbara Bain to your Martin Landau. Where is Mulder? We're not sure, but knowing Mulder, if there's a trail leading to this facility, he's following it. Scully mentioned an unidentified man who was of some concern. Did you manage to determine his identity? Yeah, Dr. Jonathan Rausch, a Navy surgeon. You know, where's he stationed? Eisenhower Field, Alaska. Oh yeah, that's the guy. He served a stint in Perky, West Virginia? Yes. <sighs> this is bad. Listen, you have to get there. Mulder may not have much time left. First go to Rausch's house, and then on to the secret base. Okay, how do I get to the base? Well, Scully said you had a PDA? Yeah. Great, I'll email you the GPS coordinates of the base. This fax. The Canadian border guard was found dead this morning from massive unexplained burns and Mulder's rental car was observed crossing the Canadian border into Alaska. I don't believe this. Well, that's it then. Uh, no doubt about it. You're gonna have to get there ASAP. I just uploaded the GPS data. Okay, if you want to keep Mulder alive, we gotta get moving. You get to Roush's, you're probably going to want to take a charter flight, the island's going to be too busy. I'll keep everything nailed down here, contact the Juno field office, get you some backup. Think you can scare up a charter flight for this man? Sure, I can do that. Okay, let's go. You want a window or an aisle seat? Well, maybe you should come with me. I don't think so. Why not? It's your case too. Yeah, Alaska's a little outside my jurisdiction. Besides, I have real detective work to do. You be safe. I will. Well, it seems like he didn't screw up too much with Aston and Dorian in the last episode. You've got mail. I hope that worked. Wait.
Oh, okay. Did he not see the car pull up or is that why he drove off? <laughs> 